Welcome to Online Art Time with Mr. Dan. In this video, we're going to be drawing space using three-point perspective. It's tricky, but not too tricky. I think you can all achieve this. Just give it a try, be accurate, be careful. You'll like this. It's good. The end is also good. The materials you'll need for this video are a piece of paper. Now I'm just going to, again, use some brown bran flakes box. The inside of the bran flakes box is nice and white. And it's a good quality card, actually. So I'm going to use some of that. You'll need a pencil. You'll need a ruler. You'll need a rubber. Maybe need a pencil sharpener, something like that. Oh, nice. You'll need, you might optionally, you might optionally need some colors, like brown for the horizon line, blue for vanishing point one, purple for vanishing point two, and red for vanishing point three. And I'm going to use yellow for a light source. The colored pencils are optional. You could just use your normal pencil. To draw a three-point perspective, you start off by making a horizon line. Not in the middle this time. This time we're going to make it up a bit higher. Still leaving a little bit of room at the top. I'm going to use my brown pencil just to make that horizon line nice and light. I'm going to put my vanishing point, point vanishing point one, I'm going to label it, vanishing point one, put vanishing point two. And for three point perspective, we need a third vanishing point, basically in the middle, down at the bottom, put it right down here near the bottom. I'm going to put underneath it number three. That's vanishing point number three. We're going to start off just like we did in earlier videos. We're going to start by making our leading edge. Right above the number three, straight up above it, we're going to make just right here about a, I'm just going to do like a three centimeter line using my regular pencil, nice and dark. Now that you've made your leading edge, the next thing is to make the guidelines. We're going to start by making the guidelines from the top of this over to number one, the vanishing point number one. Again, nice and soft. Don't push hard. These you'd want to rub out later. They're just guidelines. We're going to make a guideline from the bottom back to vanishing point number one. We're then going to make a guideline from the top these to number two to the vanishing point number two again just pushing soft don't push hard we're gonna make our next guideline so far so good nice and easy we're now going to make the sides of the box and when we do one and two point perspective we put this line straight up and down and that's where we usually mark it but for three-point perspective, we'd simply move that line at an angle. And I draw between the lines. You can see right there is my guideline. And I want to make a guideline on this side, about that far away, right about there. I'm going to put a little dot on there. I'm going to line those two dots up and make my guideline for vanishing point number three. You can now see this is where our rectangle, our cuboid is going to fit inside. I'm going to darken this line just to start to make my cuboid. I'm going to darken this line. I'm going to darken the bottom of this cuboid and the bottom of this cuboid. You can see it's starting to become can see where this is going. Finally, very easily, we're going to make our guideline 
from this point back to here. We can now yo 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 crisscross. There we go. I'm going to make our guideline from this point back to number two. Again, be accurate. Oh, look at that. Now we're just going to darken up this angle, this section right there. Darken up that section right there. And there's a cuboid in three point perspective. That was easy. Now we're going to add some light to it. Again, I'm going to put a light over here, I think, just up here in the sky, shining down on the front of this right here. So I'm going to pretend it's kind of over here somewhere and up above here somewhere. So it's shining down onto the front of that, going that direction, kind of in line with number one. So if that's going to be the front, I'm going to make that white make that just ever so slightly a little white and that's how I'm going to start to put some tone in so here we go I'm going to add some tone to this shining down this direction you can see the light is coming back this way and that's light going there there somewhere like that the light's coming across it's going to come across that way and back here there's a bit of a shadow And I'm going to put a bit of tone along the front and then with tone, uh, tone 5. Smudge that around there, make that a bit blurry so that that stays white, making tone 5. And add just a bit of tone 3, maybe even 4, if I can do a 4. So, so soft. Here's maybe a tone 4. Here's maybe a tone 2. Smudging. Tone two. And finally my shadow. I'm gonna make that like a tone two, maybe a three. Nice and soft. I'm using the side of my pencil and again I'm gonna blur it. So it looks a bit more atmospheric. Look at that, look at that shadow. And that's how easy it is to make shadows. I think we're going to try another rectangle. I'm going to put another rectangle over here somewhere. I think I'm going to choose this area right there. And I want to make another rectangle there. Now, since it's not in the middle anymore, it's not in the middle anymore, it's moved over to the side. If I could, if I could show you with this right here, if this is perspective point number three, if we just turn that over there, that's where my lines are going to come up. So this time, my leading edge is going to start from here. It's going to come to where that corner is. It's going to go up from there. There we go. This looks a bit tilted. It's part of the effect. I'm going to make my vanishing points. I'm going to move my vanishing point to number one. My guidelines, I mean. It's my guidelines to number one. Here's my guidelines to number two. And finally, the sides to number three. to see it emerging out of the page. I'm going to dark up my lines now. Put my vanishing points on the top. To show because it's below the horizon line, I can see the top of this cuboid. Try 
trying to be accurate. Oh, that's quite tight in there, isn't it? It's quite tight. I'll have to be careful. That shape right up there, that's the top. And again, I'm going to add some lighting. So there's going to be white on the top. So I'm just going to put a smudge around the top there. I'm going to put a very soft number four tone on the front here. Very, very soft. And on the side, I'm going to add quite a nice shadow. Maybe a number two, maybe a three. Tone one, or, I mean tone two or three. And again, my shadow, and here it comes, coming down there. There's my shadow. So you can see. I'm going to try a cuboid above the horizon line now and see what happens. Again, I'm going to make my leading edge. But this time again, I'm coming from the number three vanishing point. I make my guidelines to number one. My guidelines to number one. Make my guidelines to number two. Sides of the key point. Those are going to be where I'm going to make the guideline. The guideline. And I'm going to start to darken this elbow. My leading edge. The top of the box, which you cannot see because it's above the horizon line. The bottom of the box. You can't see, you can't see because it's below. And I'm going to make my guidelines from the bottom of that box. And there you can see the bottom of the box, can't you? some shadow that lights over here this side's going to stay white I'm going to leave that quite white I'm going to get this side a nice little shadow there and the bottom will be quite dark because the light is not shining on it look at that the shadow will be way over there far away so we're not going to put it I'm not going to see what happens when I put a cuboid over the horizon line. So again, I'm going to start with my guideline from number three. I'm going to go right through this area right here. I'm going to make my leading edge right there. big one. You can see it's above the horizon line and it's below the horizon line. Then I'm going to make my guidelines. And here's that overlapping that's going to happen. And look behind that building. Make my guidelines to number two. Sides of my building. I mean, excuse me, the sides of my cuboid. I'm going to put a side right there. There's that guideline. There's that guideline. I'm just going to stop at that guideline right there. I'm going to stop at that guideline there. I'm going to darken that just so I know that that's 
that one. And then to darken that. Darken that. And I'm going to make this side. I want it to be about that far. So again, I'm going to line it up like she's going. Line it up with my guide line. Vanish point number three. You can now see it. And darken that in. Notice you can't see the top of this cuboid because it's above the horizon line. And you can't see the bottom of this cuboid because it's below the horizon line. Now if the light's over here, that's going to be quite white. I'm going to put the shadow over on this side. back and smooth it over a little bit. Trying to even it out a bit there. I think this got a little bit of stuff on it so I'm just going to rub that out make that white again. Give some really nice contrast. Now I'm going to show you what happens if you come outside of this area and you start making the cuboid outside this area. What happens? Well, again, we're going to make our leading edge. I'm going to draw that leading edge now. I'm going to again make it just, just make it about three centimeters, but you could make it more. I have my guidelines. I set my leading edge. I'm going to do this box slightly differently. I'm going to put my first guideline to guide line to vanishing point number one. This is going to be the top of the box here. So at this point, I'm going to put a dot right there. I'm going to connect two points to number two. So here we go. I'm going to connect the the top of this line to number two. I'm going to connect that dot on that guideline to number two. I'm also going to connect the bottom of this to number two. Okay. I'm going to start to darken that in. I'm going to make that again about three centimeters. Right there. Then, from this point, I'm going to make a guideline to number one to show me the top. You can now see the top of that cuboid. I can darken that in. make the side of the cuboid from this point down to number three. You can see the side of that cuboid. Look at that cuboid. You can add a bit of a shadow. And if that's that, it's coming across here. Might be going back across like that. There we go. Get to that number five tone at the top there. Make it a little bit there. There's a cuboid on the side. 
Watch what happens if I push it to the edge even farther. I'm going to make one way over here now. Line to number one. I'm going to put a dot on there. And with my leading edge. Darken that in. I'm going to darken that one into that dot. And I'm going to start to make my guidelines to number two, just like I did before. And that's dot to number two. And from the bottom to number two. Okay. I'm going to make the top of this box, so I just go like this and I draw where I'd like that to go. I'm going to connect that to number one. And I can darken that top in. And I'm going to make my side of this to number three. I'm going to darken that side in. The farther out you go, the more of the side of this you'll be able to see. Watch this. From the bottom of this keyboard, I'm going to make a guideline to number one again. And from the top of this keyboard, from this corner, I'm going to make a guideline to number three. Look at that. You can now see the side of that keyboard right there. And I'm going to add some light. So I'm going to add a little bit of shadow on here. I'm going to keep it really soft. I'm going to keep that number four tone, maybe. Tone four. I'm going to make that white on top. So I'm going to put a little fuzz around it. Make it look white on top. I'm going to add my light. So my light's coming in from there. Maybe some shadow coming in from there. So you can see, you can see a little bit of the side of that cuboid the farther out it gets away from those lines. I'm going to try that on this side. Let's start with my leading edge. Five centimeters. Draw my guideline to number to number two. Along that guideline, I'm going to put a dot. I'm going to make my guidelines to number one. Three guidelines to number one. coming. I'm going to make, a, I'm gonna make the, the side of this box here. So I'm going to make my side of this box. So just between these two guidelines. I can start to darken that in. I can see it now. Okay, I can even darken that one. Too much. I'm going to make my guideline to number two. see the top of this keyboard. And finally, make my guideline to number three again down here from this corner. Make my guideline back to number two from this corner. 
And you can see the size of this cuboid now, can't you? Look at that. So when it goes past number three and number two, you can see a bit more of the side. If this is my light source, I'm going to add some light onto this one. So this one, I'm going to pretend that the light's there and the light is on top here. And that this side has a bit of shadow. And I'm going to pretend that my light's straight above this area here. It's actually coming out this direction. There we go. Give me just a little bit of white at the top there, a little bit of tone to five to add roads into this is quite easy to do you simply pick some marks where you want your road intersection to go and from that mark you draw back to guide to vanishing point one I think I want my road to be that wide. So I'm going to make that one go back there. Careful of that. There's one road. There's a road that fits down the middle. So between there and there, halfway is about there. Smaller, tinier, closer, softer, until you can't see them. Okay, I think I'm going to make a road that goes back over to there. Start with this one here, go back to vanishing point number two. Put another road about that far away from that. See where that one ends. I'll mark it. That's where it ends. I'm making road markings. I'm halfway between those two points. About there, I'm guessing. Get these areas harder at the beginning and smaller and smaller and closer and softer. Make it go away. To add windows in three-point perspective, it's very simple. We make our guideline to number three along the edge of the building. Make our next guideline from that edge over there. While I'm here, I might as well add the next two. Make them the guidelines back to number one. Our guidelines to number two.
I'm going to put a few little marks along the top here. I'm just going to do some really simple windows. There we go. I've just put two there. I'm going to put two over here on this side as well. We'll line those up with vanishing point number three. Line those up with vanishing point number three. Now all I have to do is darken those windows. It's quite simple. Staying on the guidelines. Just darken what you see. Stay on the guidelines. And you can color in your windows however you like. I'm going to add in a city background. Where the horizon line is, I'm going to add in a cityscape. So back here, I'm just going to draw some buildings, just rectangular looking shapes really. Come across, there's my horizon line. You might want to put an iconic building that you recognize. Here's kind of the gherkin. There's maybe a larger building. And then you can Always fix things if you don't like them. Maybe a London Eye. Darken things in.
this point, you could finish it off however you want. You could add trees, light posts, gardens, paths, parks, cars, like I said, people. Have fun. Enjoy yourself. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Truly. Oh yeah. <laughs> no, I know. Whoa. I don't know what is, where to look, what is that, and look at this, what, 